chill, relax. It's just functions. Learn and have fun here in Grade F. It's good to have you back. Now, we are going to divide these two given functions. But notice that the highest degree or the degree of your function f of x is 7. This would mean that it would be difficult for us to use the process of factoring and um, looking for um, binomial or a term that could be canceled using your divisor, which is x minus 1. In this case, let us try to divide this properly. But let's use here a method that is different from the long division. We are going to use here the synthetic division. The synthetic division only uses the coefficients of your dividend, in this case f of x, and a certain c coefficient of your g of x, which is your divisor. So let's start with the coefficients of our f of x or dividend. We have here 1 x to the power of 7. But don't just say that automatically the next coefficient is negative 1. This is because there are missing uh, terms there. We don't have x to the power of 6, x to the power of 5, x to the power of 4, x cubed, x squared, and even the term of x. In dividing polynomials or functions using the synthetic division, we need to acknowledge the missing coefficient so that our answer later is closer to what is correct. In short, we're going to place here some coefficients, but this coefficient should not change the actual value. Notice that it's just x to the power of 7 minus 1. So to make sure that the coefficient for x to the power of 6 will not change it, we're going, we are going to use here 0. So 0 x to the power of 6 is just 0 itself, so we are not changing the actual function. We also have 0 x to the power of 5. And then 0x to the power of 4, 0x cubed, 0x squared, 0x. Again, we have here x to the power of 7, 0x to the power of 6, x to the power of 5, x to the power of 4, x to the power of 3, x squared, x. And then you have here your minus 1. So this should be considered all the time. Now we are done with the first condition. The second condition is placing here a certain c. That C is patterned to your divisor, X minus C. Our divisor is X minus 1. So with this, automatically, we could say that our C is equal to 1. Not negative 1, it's just 1. Because it's X minus C and X minus 1, therefore your C is 1 here. We're going to place it in this manner. Now we are done with the two conditions. Let's start with the process of dividing them. The first step is bringing down the first coefficient, 1 here, okay? The next thing here is we're going to multiply this with the coefficient c. So 1 times 1, you have 1 here. The next thing here is to add the coefficient, 0 plus 1, 1. And then repeat the previous processes. Of course, it's too obvious that it is easier because you only have 1. So 1 times 1, 1. 0 plus 1, another 1. Then 1 times 1, 1. And then 1 here. Of course, 1 times 1 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is another 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. Zero, 1 times 1 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. And finally, 1 times 1 is 1. And you have here one min a negative 1 plus 1 is 0. This last coefficient is your remainder. If your remainder is 0, then that would mean we don't need to write... Um, plus remainder of our divisor later because automatically our divisor x minus 1 perfectly divides our dividend. Now, these coefficients here will be used to describe our final result or our quotient. Now, this one here is the coefficient now of the term with degree n minus 1 where n is the degree of our dividend. Our dividend is x to the power of 7 minus 1. The highest degree is 7. Therefore, 7 minus 1, 6. This first coefficient here is the coefficient of x to the power of 6. So 1, x to the power of 6 is just x to the power of 6. Next, you have positive 1. So plus 1, the next term is x to the power of 5. Then plus another 1, x to the power of 
4. Then plus 1, x to the power of 3 or x cubed. Here, plus x squared or 1, x squared. Then another 1, x plus 1, x. And finally, you have your constant plus 1. Again, no remainder for this because our remainder here is 0. So our quotient, when we divide f of x being x to the power 7 minus 1, by our divisor g of x being x minus 1 is x to the power of 6 plus x to the power of 5 plus x to the power of 4 plus x cubed plus x squared plus x plus 1. We did this using synthetic division. That's all for today. You're dismissed. And please do not forget to subscribe now.